What's happening there, hat folks? G the Hat Guy here. I'm back with another wonderful uh, hat video for you guys. Uh, still continuing with the series on how to uh, put together your hat and shoe combinations for your outfits based on uh, hat design, shoe design, shoe style, hat styles, that type of thing. Um, you know, for your wardrobe, your outfits, and your ensemble. So hopefully you can learn a thing or two, gain some new insights and ideas on how to do just that. You know, if uh, if you're already somebody who's pretty much uh, well able to, to do that, that's great. Maybe you could get some new insights, some additional insights, some additional ideas that you didn't have before uh, and add it to your current uh, repertoire or what, whatnot, uh, as they say. Um, so, again, we're still continue with the series, uh, just like the last few series of videos that I've been releasing here on the channel. Uh, on the G the Hat Guy channel, whatnot. Uh, uh, again, I'm G the Hat Guy and uh, very passionate about hats, very passionate about shoes. Um, but I said maybe hats just just a little bit of more advantage over uh, shoes as far as my interest goes when it comes to fashion, whatnot. Um, so again, hopefully you can learn something beneficial uh, from this video as well. Uh, the title for this video is going to be How Velvet Sneaker Shoes wingtip oxfords and more can be worn with fedora hats okay that's the title of this video so let's get right into it okay um let's see here let me see what i have for you guys got a great surprise here these are the velvet uh sneaker shoes here uh men's uh sneaker shoes uh, it's got the velvety uh, fabric on there. You know, it's got the velvet fabric on there. Okay. Uh, it's got some nice lacing on there. You know, this has the uh, the leather uh, lining, as you can see there. It's got the leather lining, leather insole there. This is made in Spain. Uh, like I always say on a lot of my videos so far, you know, I'm not promoting any particular brands, uh, but uh, if any band, brand would like to promote their products, you can reach out to me in the comment section or through the Facebook hat group, uh, The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy. Send me a request to join. You can comment to me on there or uh, on Instagram at G The Hat Guy with a direct message. Um, yeah, so here we go. This, this is black. It's in black. Okay, the sneaker. This is brand new out of the box. Okay, the men's uh, velvet uh, fabric uh, fabric uh, sneaker sneaker shoes, something like this. You can wear with jeans. You could do summertime, springtime, fall. You know, uh, you might even be able to get away with the winter, whatnot. Though, if you yeah, why not? As long as there's no snow, it's not wet. You know, it does have rubber soles, so you know, looks almost just like a regular sneaker, except it's got that dressy look. It's built more of a dressy type, you know, well, dress casual type uh, uh, sneaker or whatnot. Um, yeah, so it's got a nice bumper there in the back, as you can see, a plastic bumper there. It's got the velvet, again, it's made out of that shiny velvet, uh, kind of like a poly uh, nylon type uh, fabric, you know, whatnot, uh, you know, with, with the leather insole. Uh, leather lining on the inside. They are made in Spain. Uh, something like. Woo, bear with me here, folks. Trying to handle, <laughs> trying to handle this, uh, these shoes and hats with one hand and show you know record with another hand. So bear with me, multitasking here. Okay, that, that's my setup now. Okay, I've got the fedora hat here. Let's see. Uh, okay, this is black as well. So this will make like a nice perfect match you know you can wear again if you want to do uh this is a fur felt fedora center dent two pinches multicolor feather nice black band brim is about uh two and a quarter inch raw edge you know brim on this one very nice got a nice lining leather sweat band on the inside fur felt rabbit mix you know what not uh yeah so this kind of look you can do with uh what can you do this with? You can do jeans. Uh, you got a nice pair of chinos. 
you know, you can do something like that with, um, you know, kind of have that dressy edge, but a little bit casual with the shoes. Uh, you can do a sweater as far as your top, whatnot, black sweater. Maybe a sweater that's got uh, a couple colors in it, white or something else, you know, combination color sweater. Uh, you could do a dress shirt, you know, check a pattern or plaid pattern or just a plain solid color shirt, you know. Uh, uh, what else? You can probably do uh, certain types of dress pants with, with the shoes as well. You know, uh, definitely I would recommend with a suit, um, you know, because that's more of a, again, that casual, uh, dress casual, you know, type look, whatnot. So, you know, I am recommend with a suit, but you can probably get away with certain types of dress pants, something that's not too, too dressy, you know, not the higher, the, the higher, higher end dress pants, you know, whatnot. But jeans, you know, khakis, chinos, nice pair of chinos, uh, you know, during the summertime, you can put on like a straw hat. You know, you could do shorts with the shoes. You know, that go with that. You can do uh, your linen shorts, your linen pants, you know, black linen shorts, black linen pants, or even white, you know, with the black shoes and, and wear like a black straw hat. You know, you can do a Panama straw hat, you know, uh, with a linen top, matching top and shorts or matching top and pants with it. You know, there's several options. You could do jean shorts, you know, for the spring and summer as well with a straw hat. You know, uh, there's several options, again, with something like this. You know, so, uh, yeah, but but that's a good combination right there. So, there's that one. Um, so, let me, uh, let's move on to the next one here. Folks, if you're learning something, you're gaining some insights. Um. See, uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, this is G the Hat Guy. I've got more great and awesome hat content coming your way. I appreciate you supporting the channel, watching the channel. Much appreciated. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale to support our upcoming hat travels. Uh, we're going to be bringing you very unique hat content from all across the country. Uh, I've been, you know, mentioning that to my viewers for some time now if, you, if you've been watching my video for some time if you're new to the channel welcome um and like i said hat travel is all about bringing you very unique hat content uh it's all around hats from all over the country it's gonna be very very unique uh, i'm just trying to find you know some time to kind of get away and and record their content and bring it to you okay um so bear with me still coming up we're working on that uh, yeah, we have t-shirts available, like I said, to raise funds for the hat travels because this is a one-man show and, uh, uh, you know, self-funded right now, you know, as far as this whole mission with uh, the channel, you know, what now. So, uh, yeah, so if you want to support the shirts are $29.99, I have different colors, same design. If you've seen some of my other videos, you see the some of the colors that I have, you know, in the design. Otherwise, if you would like to support the channel or you want to see that, send me a a comment let me know in the comment section okay that you're interested and i can email you or through the hat group the hatters lounge the hatters h-a-t-t-e-r-s l-o-u-n-g-e lounge by g the hat guys the name of the hat group it's a private hat group you can post your own pictures let me see what you know how you put your hat and shoe combinations together let me see your outfits with your hats okay uh, and like I said, let me see your ensembles for your wardrobe. How do you put your hat and shoes together? You can post your own pictures. You need to answer a question. I think I have a question on there before you can join the group. Like, uh, what are some of your favorite hats or something? And then also, we've got just a few rules. You know, no spam. Make sure you agree to the rules, the terms of the group. And uh, that's it, you know. Uh, so search for the group on Facebook. Once I get your message, then I go ahead and approve that. And you can start posting your own pictures on there. And we need people who are going to participate and engage in the group, okay? Not spectators over yours, okay? We need folks who are going to post pictures. We want to see, you know, uh, your own collection of hats. You know, how do you style your hats and shoes together? So this is a, we, you know, this is an active group, okay? We want we want an active group with participants, you know, not not spectators, you know. Are you, are you a participant or a spectator? So we're looking for participants, Okay participators okay not spectators okay so yeah you can post your own pictures on there you know like i said no spam you know we'd like to see your hat collection we'd like to see how you put your hats and shoes together okay and uh yeah so that's that also on instagram is that g the hat guy uh, follow me there 
Uh, so yeah, let's get right back to the video. Um, so the next one I have here, let me put this shoe away. I've got. See what a surprise! You know, I'm not. I'm like uh, Santa Claus. I'm, I come bearing gifts for you guys, right? <laughs> So let's see what else we got here. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, I'm trying to handle this with one hand and record with another hand here. Okay, so yeah, so I've got these here. These are, you know, if you know by now, you since some of the most recent videos I've released about how to put hats and shoes together, you know I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, wingtips. There goes another wingtip for you. <laughs> you know, got a huge collection of them. <laughs> You know, so yeah, here we go. Here's another one you haven't seen yet. Okay, this is uh, this is a very unique pair of shoe, and uh, I believe it's you know handmade in Italy. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, it's got that patina of kind of like a like a purplish gray on it, right? That patina color, like a purplish gray patina. You know, it's got the huge medallion design, the wingtip medallions on it, as you can see, very nice. It's got uh, that's a signature of the uh, of the shoemaker there, you know, very high high end shoe, nice leather lining on the inside there. Okay, the details, you see the piping it's got around the neckline there. You know, that piping, that's that piping it's got right there on the neckline. Okay, very very nice touch. You know, the sole's got leather sole. That's a signature of the. Uh, the maker there, whatnot. Very nice, high quality shoe. It's got the stitching in the sole there. Okay. So something like this, you know, you can put together with something like this. This gray hat is sort of have that, that grayish blue tone to it as well. Excuse me, let's see here. Okay, something like this. Or if you have like a, uh, yeah, there you go. Or if you have, you know, there's something like this you can do with with a noose boy cap. You could do with an ivy cap as well. Fedora, of course, short brim, medium brim, wide brim fedora if you want. You know, several different options, several different combinations you can put together, you know, with something like this. Um... Of course, this hat, you know, your standard fedora, center dent, two pinches. It's got the black hat band, which is the contrast color to the hat. You know, you got your leather sweat band lining on the inside. Fur felt. It's a fur felt. Higher quality. Rabbit fur felt mix. You know, European fur felt. Goes with that, with the wingtip uh, Oxfords right there. Very nice. Again, you could do a dress shirt. You know, dress pants, of course, with this, this is a, this a, um, a dress shoe for sure, for sure on this one. Uh, you know, jeans, no, I would not recommend jeans with it. You could probably do jeans with this combination, but I don't recommend it. I will say this is a, a dressy look all the way. Suits, of course, definitely. You have a gray suit you can do with this. Perfect. You know, shirt, dress shirt, you could do sweater. You know, you could do shirt underneath, sweater on top, you know. Gray sweater, white shirt, or uh, a mixed color shirt. You know, you can do uh, what else? Um, yeah, you know, you can do like a chino or something. Can you do chinos? I I don't recommend that either with this. I recommend all dress shirt, dress pants with something like this, okay? Um, yeah, with this combination as well. And then, let's see what else I have for you. I think I probably have one more for you okay with this combination here I have these uh, boots here again these are wingtip I'm a huge fan of wingtips it's got the leather lining on the inside there it's got the lug sole the rubber lug sole high end quality huge medallions you know gray bluish gray Perfect with this fedora. This gray fedora hat here. See that combination right there? That is bad. Okay. Something like this more casual. You could do jeans. You could do chinos. 
with this sweater, gray sweater, whatnot on top, or shirt. You can do you could do jeans, chinos. This is more of a uh, dress casual again. You know, I don't recommend a suit with this look here. You know. Again, you see that combination there? Very nice. Again, you could do a newsboy cap. You can do uh you know uh ivy cap with this as well. You know, very nice casual boots. You know, the dress casual boots with the medallions. You know, the wingtip medallions on it. Again, this G the Hat Guy, check me out. Facebook, the Hattest Lounge by G the Hat Guy is the name of the group. Send me a request to join the group. You can post your own picture. Let me see your hat and shoe combinations, how you put them together. Also, Instagram at G the Hat Guy. And thank you for watching to the next video. I appreciate you. Bye.